Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on freezer meal prep essentials and I specifically did this as I am getting closer and closer to my due date. We're expecting a baby and I just wanted to prep everything before the baby's arrival. So here I'm cutting up a red onion and we love to use onion for cooking, whether it's red or white. So I'm just putting them in little Ziploc bags and I'm making as many as I can and we're just going to pop them in the freezer. You would be surprised, honestly, how many things you can freeze. Of course, they're not gonna unfreeze and have the crunchiness to them, but anything that you do freeze is great for cooking meals. So when prepping these types of things, feel free to cut it as big as you want. Maybe you like larger or smaller chunks of onion, or maybe you like to cook with a larger amount in general. So maybe you want to use like a quart size bag compared to a snack size bag. It's really up to you. Then whatever didn't fit, I'm going to use for um, cooking another meal that I can freeze. Moving on to peppers. I'm gonna do all different types of colors. It's really up to you what you prefer and what you like to cook with. Um, we like to use yellow, red, and orange the most. So I'm just cutting these up into small pieces as well. And throughout the week, whenever we want to, if we're cooking something like a fresh chicken, I can, you know, just pop out a bag of peppers and pop out a bag of onions and we'll have a healthier, flavorful meal. Or maybe you're gonna wanna use this for soup, you know, like a red pepper sweet tomato soup sounds yummy. You could just throw it in the Instant Pot Again, whatever is left over um, that I don't fit into the bags, I'm putting in fresh so we can use throughout this week. Then it's time to cut up some zucchini. You can take off the skin or choose to leave it on. Zucchini is prepared a little bit different for the freezer. You are going to want to blanch it first, which means you're putting it into hot boiling water for a few minutes. Then you're gonna prepare some water with ice. And once those few minutes is up, you're going to drain it and then you're going to throw the zucchini into the ice water and let it sit there for a little bit so it cools down. What's, what this does actually is stop the cooking process and it just is a better way of freezing it because it keeps the crunchiness of the zucchini. Now I'm just slicing up some cucumber here, not to freeze in the way that you would think that I'm going to freeze it. Um, this is for my smoothie meal prep. I'm a smoothie lover so I just make smoothie packs and my favorite is to combine it with some pineapple so just cutting up some pineapple here as well into smaller chunks. So now for the smoothie, I am adding in some spinach and then I will be adding in some pineapple into each bag and then some cucumber that we cut up as well. This is such a great smoothie for hydration and I also love adding some mango. This was already frozen 
and some frozen banana as well. I prep these kind of throughout the week. And that's really it for this smoothie. It's super simple but yummy. Now just transferring over the zucchini that has been sitting there for a bit. This made quite a few bags and I'm actually going to be doing this during the summer as well because we grow such large zucchinis that I can't eat enough in time. Then I'm doing the same thing to kale here so we're blanching it as well. It's the same exact process and I feel like this is the best way for me to do kale because I don't love eating it raw but I do like um, adding it into pastas or as a side dish or something like that so I personally like it blanched. When you're going to be putting this away to Ziploc bags make sure to squeeze out the excess water you don't want it to be like drenched in water. And that's it you guys. These are super simple freezer meal prep essentials that you can cook with throughout the week or just take out a smoothie bag and have it for um, a hydrating, refreshing drink. And it just makes life so much easier to have it all ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!